Hello and welcome to Baker Airsoft. So today I'm going to go over the Emerson SS Cheswick and the SS Cheswick is the SS actually stands for Spiritual, Spiritual System. It is the original maker of or the, the, the designer of the Cheswick. And the SS Cheswick is also widely shown in the TV series CO Team and making it famous. So I guess that is why makers like TMC, Emerson are making replicas of it. And actually, this is my first chess week. Also, I was debating between this one and the Haley Strategic D three C L M, but that one uh, does not have a replica yet, and I do not want to spend money into something that I'm not used to or have no ex experience with. So, after I get used to chess week, if I like it, I might go for the original SS one or the Haley Strategic just to support the real maker, the real designer. But for the meantime, I'm going to use the replica chest wig for now and then just to get used to how a chest wig feel. And I actually had a game of CQB with the chest wig today, so I'm going to talk about what I like, what I don't like, and I have some of the stuff that I changed from the original settings. So let's go over some of the components first. So you get your main body, you got your main compartment, your uh, fanny pack, and your side radio pouch. And it came with a few inserts, it came with two triple five five six inserts one i have already put it inside the main compartment and you get a double seven six two mag insert and you get a half flat panels and then you get a triple loop and a double loop ferrical panels for, to act as the insert also so let's go for the main main compartment first so the main compartment consists of two pockets and on each pocket you can have different inserts so it's very modular and if you just want a you know the 5 6 magazine you can put two of the triple inserts and you can have six magazine in total but um i don't really like the insert here so the insert is made by some kind of elastic material and held by velcro front and back so then when it is sitting like this, a little gap opens, so it's, e it's supposed to be easier for you to insert the magazine in it, but I find it is still a bit difficult, especially after you have two mags in. The last one feels kind of tight. See, you can see, it doesn't go all the way in. So, to solve the solution, I have put Velcro on some kind of mag insert. Now, uh, this is also a replica. I have had the real Hades Strategic insert, but I never thought I would use it, cause, and I saw the Hades Strategic one, and I just want to see how it fits in the Emerson Cheswick, so I got the replica, and this one is made by Woosport. I think it's better in TMC. In terms of material and the, you know, the overall buildings, this one is more closely resembling to the to the Haley Strategy one than the TMC one. The TMC one is made by hard, hard plastic ABS. So it does provide tighter grip but at the same time the opening is smaller so it's harder to do a reinsert. And also even you put the double side tape the ferro panels in here the transfer does not have it won't pull open like what it does to the insert. I'll show you guys in a second. So let me just install this in here first. Okay, so I just installed the insert into the chest wig. Now, um, it does not have a divider, so I'm trying to figure out what I'll do with it. Maybe I'll put a ferro strap around the center magazine, so you have a strap here and here to make some kind of a divider. But even without it, you can, I can reinsert my magazine very easily. And if you notice the center one, it get pushed wider, so then it's less secure for the middle one. But the two on the side is actually okay. So if I stick it, the middle one will fall off. And the one on the left and right actually held up pretty good. And if I manage to get some kind of a travel strap, you know, some kind of strap go around the center, and I can I can stick to the two sides, so I have something to retain 
the pouch from preventing it to open it all the way so maybe it will be better retention for the center max so but i will try later on and do an update review on that later on but i don't see a huge issue with this other one getting loose because i'm not going to be upside down i hope so going over to the other insert Okay, so it comes with a half flap, but the half flap to me is kind of pointless because if you don't have any insert into the front pocket, what if we put in here, we'll go over to this side and fall out. So you have to have something in here in order for this to work. So they provided a triple loop and a double loop panels for you to put into the front compartment but then this one I can fit a Leatherman and maybe a pistol magazine but this one I'm not sure what you can fit it in maybe some kind of glow stick or something it definitely cannot fit any pistol mag so you could have your multi tool or you know, your pistol magazine retained into the front pocket in the front pocket with the flaps but then in here, you, I don't know what you would put in here, so it's less secure. So you might want to get one more of this, but I don't see they're selling this separately. So, so for the looks, I mean, they're widely showing for the half flaps looks. So this is the main sections. And for the side video pouch, it can fit a TCA 152, but it's a very tight fit. I mean, this fiber is not elastic. Unlike the video pouch by let's say quiet precision where the back is a elastic material and the front is nylon so it can fit the video more easily but this one is not so I had a hard time fitting it but if it's as for the fanny pack I well you can put your you know your keys wallet and stuff but then I usually put my speed loader in here so this is like my setup and for CQB I don't care a video so I don't need this so I can take this to pouch off and for the speed loader um, I'm used to carrying this but I can leave this into the resting area where, where I can come back every while to reload my magazine so for security I don't really need the fanny pack and so now I have like a choice of only the main section here and even though I'm setting it my magazine to 30 rounds per mag I don't think I'll ever need six meg in a round. A round usually takes about five minutes, and you see my you have seen my videos in Hong Kong on the CQB gameplay. It's not a big deal. You usually die within like the first few minutes or so. So three max is more than enough. So in the end, if you're using this for CQB, you might be better off to just carry two M4 magazine on your belt, and that's it. You don't even need to carry the whole chest rig. But if you're thinking of replacing your plate carrier with a chest rig then you might want to go for all the components but I'm not going to do a comparison between this and a JPC maybe I'll do one later on but not in this video so for some of the disadvantages of a chest rig from what I read online people say that if you carry a lot of stuff in a chest rig then the weight distribution is not as nice and you, you don't strap it down to your body as tight as a JPC or any other place carrier, so the things will should provide move around when you're running. But um, at this moment, I'm not carrying that much stuff, so I don't really notice it in CQB. In CQB game, in the CQB game today, I do carry three max with the speed loader and a Leatherman in here, and I it was fine for me. And something that I don't like on a chest work is that if you're wearing a very thin T-shirt or just any T-shirt. Um, this few areas is not uneven, so it doesn't feel very nice on your chest. Unlike a unlike my JPC where I have a place in front, so it will go against my body, and all my attachment is in front or at the side. So it feels nicer if you're wearing something thin. But if you're wearing a jacket or anything um, underneath the chest wig, you don't really notice all this stuff. I mean, overall, a chest wig is. Like it's lighter, it's more compact than plate carrier, and you don't really need the plate for airsoft. 
So um, I'll use it for a couple more games, and I'll see if it, I can. I'll see if this can be like a replacement for my current setup. So this is it for the quick review on the Emerson SS Cheswick, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.